this story that we're about to tell, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. But we want to tell you about a little bit about a part of our story. When you get as old as we are, it could take a long time to tell the whole story. So we're just going to narrow it down a little bit. <coughs> about, well, it'll be two years, May 22nd, that uh, one of our rental properties, which is west of here, was hit by a tornado. It was a, it was a trailer park that uh, I had bought about 18 months previous to that time and had done a lot of work and had just gotten it where it was doing well and kind of taking care of itself. And I was off in uh, Arizona visiting my kids and grandkids and doing some uh, fatherly work out there remodeling a bathroom. And I got a call from Rose Pamatel who uh, goes to church here and she was crying and she said, Bruce, the trailer park's gone. She lived there. <laughs> I said, there no, she said a tornado hit the trailer park. And I said, well, what, what happened? She said, it's gone. I said, what's gone? She said, the trailer park. There's no trailers left. And so I went to, to bed that night thinking, I'm gonna have to call the insurance man in the morning. I'm not sure if my insurance is where it should be, but I hope it is. And, and I remember thinking, uh, about half of my income is not gonna be gone. I'm, we're gonna have to rebuild, we're gonna have to do all this. Nobody would, you know, we really are thankful that nobody was hurt. Uh, I mean, there were some hurt, but nobody was killed. There's no loss of life. And, and I remember laying in, in bed that night in, in uh, Arizona thinking, what am I gonna do? <laughs> you know, it just, it just so topsy-turvy, changed everything. And, uh, and it's like these words just came, you know, I said, trust me. Now that was, that was one of the first times that the Lord seemed to be using his, you know, you can repeat scripture, but it's like he was saying, trust me with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge me and I'll make your path straight and I, I mean it was just like huh, you know the goosebump time and, and, and it's easier said than done <laughs> you know because I had to fly home and, and uh, I didn't want to cut the trip short because uh, I couldn't do anything anyway everybody said police are there they're watching it nobody can can vandalize so when I finally got there it was it was hard to believe in that it's like that tornado somebody told me that t the trailer parks have magnets on them tornado magnets and and I always believed it because it came kitty corner across jumped here and there and but it, when it went to the trailer park it went exactly up the center of the trailer park and all the trailers on the right side were going north and all the trailers on the west side of the road were going south so it must have spun exactly up the middle and and I guess it had just seeing the devastation it was just it was beyond anything I'd ever seen before and, and somehow I mean to think that that, it, that you own it <laughs> was, was just a hard thing to, to grasp when Thomas called and, and said that he had heard about our, our difficulty with the tornado and that, that he had a group of people that wanted to come out and and uh, help clean up and and I, I I didn't know what to think because I, he said we've got somebody with a, a backhoe and and uh, some big equipment and we're gonna you know cut up trees and we're going to try to get as much stuff piled up as we can and 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 then he said something that that uh, kind of I don't know if you know how it jerks on your heart a little bit he said people have told me that 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 you're a man of God and I want to honor you and, and I, you know that just was so unusual that uh, it still sticks in my mind well then 
<clears throat> they came out and and they did help and they did it did a tremendous amount of work and uh, but there was a you know still a tremendous amount of work to, to do and, and to be done but but I guess the thing that that in in hindsight it has changed our path so much because I needed to be up here closer to build a trailer park but it, before we built the trailer park we, we bought a house and had to remodel we remodel like that that's taking longer and so on and so forth but but in hindsight now I've gotten uh, to to know uh, Wayne and uh, at a much uh, you know more intimate level and now I'm, I'm, I'm part of his uh, kind at heart ministries board and and uh, it was through through him that we were introduced to, to the church here and so it just seems like you know step 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 and we've met so many uh, I think just wonderful Christian people and have seen the Lord at work that uh, I'm not sure you know I never wanted to experience a loss but as I've looked back and seen I, I, I told uh, Cena that we were going to have this story about the biggest loser because I've had so many losses it seems in my life but the Lord has always turned them around and this seemed like one of the biggest losses I've ever experienced and, and yet it seems like the bigger your loss the bigger your win in the end so that 